the nasty oh, air. Sick of it. We've been in the orange category for the last couple of days, meaning the air is unhealthy for sensitive groups. I think we were even in the red for just a little bit today, yeah. this afternoon. And in our search for a way to describe just how unhealthy the air is, we caught wind of a smartphone app. It compares breathing in the smoky air to smoking cigarettes. So we wanted to verify how valid is this really? Our Morgan Boydston has the answers. It helps to try to put our crummy air quality into context and compare it to something else for people. That's the point of this app called the S word, I smoke. So I downloaded it to my iPhone and it pulls up this screen. You can see it says I smoked about two cigarettes today. That was a pretty shocking number to read, seeing as I didn't smoke any cigarettes today. The app is drawing this comparison between smoking cigs and air pollution, using air quality readings from the closest monitoring station. The study measures the equivalence between cigarettes and tiny particulate matter in the air. These particles can be harmful and work their way deep into our lungs and bloodstream. So I set out to find out if I can really say the air is so bad because of wildfires, it's like smoking cigarettes. We're not supposed to breathe that stuff in. So it's it's in a way it simulates smoking. I mean, it's different. There are different particles in cigarette smoke than in uh, wildfire smoke. But in terms of the insult to your lungs, it's somewhat similar in that you're breathing in small particles that really shouldn't be there. While it's bad for you to breathe wildfire smoke in and it can hurt your lungs, it's not like taking a drag of a cigarette. Doctors say the two are not similar enough to make a direct comparison. Wildfire smoke is made up of tiny particles from burned wood and trees, along with gases and water vapor. But cigarettes, they're made up of a lot of different ingredients, 600 in fact, burning more than 7,000 chemicals. I think you can compare them and say that you're causing some injury to your lung in terms of quantification of that. And this type of air quality equals this many cigarettes. I think that's a bit difficult. Um, comparison to make. I'm not sure it's it's really a, a comparison we can make because there's there's many ing ingredients in cigarette smoke which isn't the same as 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 ingredients from from forest fires, and uh, with forest fires I guess most of the research has to do with the immediate effects, especially on as asthmatics as well as air irritation. Whereas with cigarette smoke there's been years and years of study of other effects including cancer. And while we're in the orange, people with underlying issues like heart and lung diseases, as well as children and older people, should avoid being outside. Rather than using this app to find out how unhealthy our air is, it's actually best to go to the Idaho Department of Environmental Quality website. They have a real-time air monitoring page. You can find the closest station to you and check out the index value and the levels of pollutants.